Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a very soft cataract. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. An air bubble is injected to fill up the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. This is for demonstration of the rexis. In such cases, without using dye, we can do rexis. The dye is washed out and now 2% HPMC is injected into the anterior chamber and now is the time to do capsulorexis. I am going to do the rexis with this utrita forceps. A flap is raised by the utrita itself the flap is held like this and it is guided anticlockwise. In this case, my plan is to do a oval rexis, an oval rexis. And this is a nice oval rexis. Oval rexis has a lot of advantages. And now this is the hydrodissection and hydrodelineation. My plan is to use the carousel technique in this case. So I did a nice hydrodelineation. And now the nucleus, epinucleus complex is rotated nicely. Since my plan is carousel technique in this case to employ the carousel technique nuclear rotation should be very good and now is the time to introduce the tip of the fecal needle since this is a soft cataract the exposed part of the fecal needle is just this much in harder cataracts it should be more and now after removing the air bubble, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now again the nucleus is rotated clockwise and then anticlockwise several times and now the hand the tip of the fake needle is placed here at 3 o'clock and high vacuum and high flow is applied little bit of ultrasonic energy is used in between and the nuclear mass rotates and gets vanished. The epinucleus is removed and that's it. So in soft cataracts where holding of the nucleus is not possible. This is a good technique, fast technique. You have seen that I came to the central part of the anterior chamber just after one or two rotations. Since we have only one side port in this case, I am using this 23G Simco. The side port is little larger in size but it is 3 clock hours away from the main incision. So astigmatism induced by the main incision is neutralized to some extent by the large side port. The cortical cleanup is complete now in this case I am going to use a B cartridge 
to implant the intraocular lens. So I need to enlarge the main wound a little bit by about 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 millimeter. So here it is, it is just one or two cuts and the 2.8 millimeter wound has become 3 millimeter or 3.1 millimeter. And now this is the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The lens has gone in the capsular bag. Yes, the haptics have been placed 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 9 o'clock meridian. And now this is a bit of moxie. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the stab wounds. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber as well as the capsular bag. The antechamber should be very nicely formed. The intraocular pressure should be higher side of normal and then the integrity of the wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any side. Then few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.